Good evening, I'm Shayla Reeves and thank you for joining us. Tonight, the Pirates will open the NCAA tournament play against UNCW. This year marks the 24th time that the Pirates have made an NCAA regional. WNCT's Ken Watling joins us now from Clark LeClaire Stadium. Ken, it's an exciting night for baseball. No doubt about it. It's already been a pretty exciting day here at Clark LeClaire Stadium. The first game between South Carolina and Ohio State wrapped up at about 10 minutes ago with South Carolina winning the game 8 to 3. They advance tomorrow to play at 5 o'clock in the winner's bracket. Who will they play? It'll be the winner of tonight's nightcap between UNCW and ECU. It'll be the third meeting of the season between these two long-standing rivals. The Pirates winning both games. Both of those games pretty close. 6-4 to four here in Greenville, 5-4 to four down in Wilmington. It's going to be a sold-out stadium at Clark LeClaire. The fans on the other side of the fence here inside the jungle tailgating. A lot of grills fired up. You see the pop-up tents all over the place. If you could see the traffic on Charles Boulevard right now, you'd probably want to stay away and unless you're trying to get out here to the game because it is going to be a busy place tonight. ECU UNCW for a third time. Actually the first time though they've met in the NCAA tournament since 2004. The Pirates winning that game in a regional championship played in Kinston. Looking forward to the game tonight. Brian Bailey and Zach Maskovich will have more coverage coming up at about 620. But first we're going to go to the other side of the stadium. Our team coverage continuing with WNCT's Dominique Moody. He's got more on what it's been like this week leading up to the big game. Dominique. Ken, as we draw closer to the first pitch, we want to make sure that we have you covered as far as merchandise goes. We want to make sure that you have the correct T-shirts, the correct hats, and everything else in between. And one thing we also want to make sure that you know about is the businesses and the impact that businesses have seen from this regional playoff and this regional tournament. We talked with one local business, and this is what he had to say about the impact. Anytime you win, it creates excitement, and uh, this definitely has created some excitement here in the store. A steady stream of customers coming in, asking about our uh, championship t-shirts we just received in today, um, baseball merchandise, baseball caps. Now, Thompson says that they're going to be having a, a sale throughout the whole weekend, 25% off on their hats, and we're just a little bit underway. The game, like Ken said, the game just wrapped up, so we're going to continue to bring you coverage, but for right now, I'm going to send it back to Ken Wadling. Ken? All right, Dominique, thank you so much. A lot of fans still waiting to get back inside the stadium. They had to clear the stadium of all the fans after the first game because it's separate tickets and the fans now waiting to get back in for UNCW ECU round three. Cannot wait. What should be a great atmosphere between, between two really good championship baseball teams. Brian Bailey and Zach Maskovich will be back here with a little bit more coverage coming up during sports. But for now, let's go back to the studio for the rest of today's news.